What I'd like to show you here is how to set up your Python and OpenSCAD environment for really efficient throughput as you're developing a project. First thing to do is to get Python installed if you don't have it already. I'm using Python 3 and also OpenSCAD, the latest version of that. The instructions to install them are on those pages and it's really quite easy and uh, they're both free of course. Okay, the first thing to do is um, open up a folder that you've got a project in. In this case, it's called cones.py. The openSCAD.py is the little library file that um, I've created that, you know, you'll never really need to change that. That's what connects the Python to the OpenSCAD. So I'm using uh, Power Toys from Microsoft to position things, so it really makes it nice. First thing to do is open up the cones.py into idle uh, Python environment or your favorite IDE. I like idle here in this case. And I'll position it in this window. You can see all it does is import that OpenSCAD.py library as O. So all the commands will have to have an O dot prefix. And in this case, we're just doing a cone 20 and 20, 20 diameter and 20 high. And then we'll send the uh, result to OpenSCAD. Um, I'm going to run it. And what will happen here is when it's run, the only thing it does is create a cones.scad file. I'm going to move this window down here out of the way. The cones.scad, if you click on that to open it, up comes OpenSCAD, and again I'll just position it in this big window. The nice thing about this environment is you make a change over here in the Python code. Let's just make the cone 20 diameter but only 10 high. Cut it in half its height. Then when I run this instantly, boom, you can see it change in OpenSCAD. There are two settings to be aware of in uh, OpenSCAD that can help make this development cycle smooth. One is that under the design menu, you want to make sure that automatic reload and preview is checked. That is what allows it to grab the results of the Python run and load it into the display automatically. The second thing is by default, um, under view there's a hide editor and normally that's not checked and it shows like this this is where you develop in pure open scad syntax but if you turn that off hide editor set that on then the um, source code that's in open scad is out of the way and provides more working space both of these settings are remembered each time you reload open scad and of course over here you can do all your normal manipulations, pan, zoom, to visually process what you've done and make changes over here in the uh, Python real fast and just run it and your the turnaround cycle for development is really really fast this way and powerful. So from here it's just a matter of developing a lot more Python code to do amazing things. Please consider signing up to be notified as my books and other projects are released. I'm working on several things right now. The link is above. You'll learn about the two books that I've already got on the market at Amazon, including one that covers the Python library in complete detail with lots of examples. Sign up now and you'll automatically get a cool project that lets you create Christmas ornaments with people's names embedded in them as a, as a big snowflake. They're awesome and they make great gifts for family, friends, coworkers, neighbors, everybody. Thank you.